flickering white text over a black background reads, the impact of COVID-19 on people with disabilities has been catastrophic. In a montage, a series of people in various global settings stare silently toward the camera. A woman with a prosthetic leg, who wears a bright red dress, stands in a workshop and talks to camera. Prosthetic legs of different sizes are placed around the workshop. When I first heard about the pandemic, particularly as a woman with disability, I was afraid. In a montage of images, people wearing personal protective equipment gather around a water tank. A group of men hold yellow spray canisters. A man offers hand sanitizer to another man. Four people wearing face shields, masks and bright colored polo shirts sit on white plastic chairs. Various packaged items fill the room around them. A woman who uses sign language talks to camera. Here in the Philippines, we were in panic and we didn't know what to do. Time-lapse footage shows a crowd of people on a busy footpath. A man talks to camera. Emblazoned on his shirt are the national emblem of Papua New Guinea, the Pacific Islands Forum logo, and the text, Second Forum Disability Ministers Meeting. Not being able to see things around and stuff, like it created a lot of fear in me. A woman in front of a white wall talks to camera. I really felt the weight of anxiety and nervousness knowing that it would affect me more than others. A woman who uses a wheelchair talks to camera. I was unemployed and didn't have any government support. In a montage, two people walk across a rural property. Three people sit on a wooden bench. Groups of people gather outside rural homes and look to camera. A woman standing outside, wearing sunglasses, talks to camera. 80% of people with disabilities live in the rural areas and it's really hard for them to access information. A man who uses sign language talks to camera. We were left out in most of the information sharing around the COVID-19 pandemic. Another woman outside, also wearing sunglasses, talks to camera. In a montage, two women, each under an umbrella, sit on a footpath beside a row of parked minivans. A shop door is heavily chained and padlocked. Long, wooden poles and a sign which reads, private property, closed, block a flight of outdoor stairs. A sign on a shop window reads, vacant shop space. For lease. Many people with disabilities and income from tourists and have lost their jobs. People with disabilities couldn't access rehabilitation services such as prosthetics and mobility aids. The woman in the red dress enters and walks through the workshop. She talks with a man as they inspect a prosthetic leg. Many of the vaccination centers are not accessible for people using wheelchairs. People walk up and down a flight of stairs, which leads to a walkway over a busy road. More than half of the people who have contracted and died from COVID-19 have been people with disabilities. Text over an orange background, to build back better, we must build back an accessible and inclusive world. A man in a blue shirt talks to camera. A better world for all would be meeting the diverse needs of persons with disability in all development efforts. A group of people, including two of the video's interviewees, meet around a table. In the future, there should be priority given to the disability sector. Two images depict people in their homes, receiving packages that contain food and sanitary items. Leaving no one behind. That is the goal. We need to make sure that communication is inclusive and information reaches everybody. A montage shows a poster with instructions on how to wash one's hands, a radio, a sign in a medical center run by the Vanuatu Government Health Department, and a person at a reception desk, passing over a form. Having people with disabilities at the center of all response. Access to public information through Filipino Sign Language for all the deaf Filipino here. Vaccination centers and the transport to them need to be accessible. A montage shows people approaching the park minivans, as well as healthcare workers preparing and administering vaccinations. Include the voices of people with disabilities in recovery efforts. In overlay footage, the two current interviewees stand in a group with others, who all smile as they look to camera. Listen to us, we can help shape our world. Include me in the COVID-19 response. I have ideas to share. The time is now. To create a disability inclusive world. Join our community of change makers. Build back a better world for all. For all. For all. For all.
Text, the time is now to make our voices heard. Logo, CBM. Text, share the video. Produced by room3.com.au for CBM. Copyright, 2021. Credits, thank you. Papua New Guinea, Alma, Ross, Kaman, Manoka. Vanuatu, Anna, Nelly, Joshua. Philippines, Jen, Carolyn. Australia, Claudia. Nigeria, Suleiman.